if you look at the history of Highland back to 1889, you'll find sort of an underlying element of courage. The courage of people back then to do something different. The courage throughout the years to be the first in a variety of things. And for that matter, the courage to link with the medical center was always a decision that I viewed and I think the board viewed as really the right direction for the institution to go. And we knew on the board, you know, we knew that we had to get uh, a bigger population here. We had to have more people in the hospital. We had to be more successful financially. No question there were a lot of unknowns. I don't think anybody really knew what would truly happen over here. But we did come with a plan to see that it did work. And after, I would say, the first year, we could see that we were headed in the right direction. The growth here and the growth at the medical center wouldn't have been as dynamic had they not come together. Some of these changes would not have occurred had this, this connection not occurred. And the good news is that it was more than just getting together. It's now growing together. It got busier and busier as it provided more programs subspecialties in medicine and surgery, and all of that was what the community needed. Well, Highland has really evolved over the last uh, 20 years uh, from a hospital that did general surgery and orthopedic surgery to a hospital that does uh, complex spine surgery here now. We do all the majority of the joint surgery at Highland Hospital in this system. The level of medicine that has been provided at Highland has been steadily increasing. It's not your standard community hospital, but really provides you know, top-notch, top-level care. Technology has certainly increased in, in all the hospitals, but Highland, we've really kept up with that. In the past several years, we've uh, purchased two Da Vinci robots in our operating room, very high-tech equipment, so that we can provide the best outcomes to our patients for minimally invasive surgery. When I saw what was happening to patients who were treated that way and how well they did, um, there was no question in my mind that that was going to be the future. We want to make sure we have a state-of-the-art facility with state-of-the-art equipment so that we can continue to provide the best care to the patients and attract physicians who want to come to Highland and build their practice here as well. Practice has gone from seeing patients, operating on them, and trying to keep track of them afterwards to, uh, you know, amassing a 17-person office staff for three surgeons to run a bariatric program. When I hear from physicians, especially physicians who go to multiple hospitals, so they certainly can compare, and they do notice that there's something special about Highland. The overall philosophy has always been to make things smooth and easy. Every single person is top-notch. And so it makes it really quite pleasant to work. Once we got here and we saw the friendly atmosphere, the dedicated staff, the people that you know were functioning well as a team, it really became clear very early on that this, we were found a home. The technology has made a riveting difference. But the one thing that hasn't changed is our inner dedication to ensure that that patient gets everything they need that's within our power to give them. We're the baby hospital. We deliver the most babies in the city. And despite that, I think our staff is very good at making each person who walks into the unit feel as though um, they're the only person they're focusing on at that moment. Well, every day in the United States, 10,000 people are turning 65. And the fastest growing portion of our population are people 85 and above. So I think our challenge in medicine, one of the big challenges will be caring for older people, people with multiple chronic illnesses that are living longer, and we want to help them live better and more functionally. Dr. Cates and Dr. Mendelssohn were really uh, two partners with Endless Energy who worked together to form the Geriatric Fracture Center at Highland. They collaborated on patients again and again and noticed that their patients did extremely well when there was this active communication and partnership between the geriatricians and the orthopedic surgeons. And under their uh, leadership, it grew to be one of the most famous and unique programs of its type in the world. That's what hospitals do. They provide health care for a community. The Highland success is really around the community's need for it. 
and I'm, I'm delighted, of course, that it's celebrating its 125th birthday, and I have no doubt that there will be many, many decades, potentially even 125 more. <laughs>